Hi ladies and gentlemen, today I'm going to do a quick review of the Garmin Bark Limiter Deluxe Collar. Now a quick disclaimer, I bought this collar and I didn't do any research. I basically just got on Nightlight's website, which is huntsmart.com, and I ordered this up. And basically I ordered Garmin products because I, I've had them in the past, I still have them and they last a long time. So I went ahead and ordered this without doing any research. This is partly my fault, but basically let me read out of the Nightlight catalog for you about the Garmin Bark Limiter Deluxe. The Newman, new Bark Correction device features an accelerometer technology to detect signals through vibrations on the dog's neck, virtually eliminating false corrections. Well, this statement right here is uh, pretty false because this collar will actually go off when my dog yawns, and she yawns a lot. So, what I did was I went at it and I contacted Garmin and through their website on their live chat and this particular deluxe collar has no way of adjusting the sensitivity. So there are other collars that they sell that have Bluetooth and I'll go ahead and read those real quick for you. The Delta Smart Bark Limiter 2, Bark Limiter 2 VT and Delta inbounds apparently all have Bluetooth, which you can hook up through your iPhone or whatever device you have and adjust the sensitivity. But this particular one here does not. So I was a little disappointed that in Garmin, um, not doing a little more homework on this and having this thing be so sensitive. So I uh, called Nightlight up, huntsmart.com, great company. And uh, they are going to take this thing back and I'm gonna do something else. So I was just, basically we wanted to make this video to maybe you guys were able to watch this video before you order this unit um, and uh, maybe save you some headaches. So basically, uh, also I wanted to mention that I paid $99.99 for this, $100. Came with a free hat, I don't know, plus tax and shipping of course. And Garmin, I just noticed on their website, has it on sale for $69.99. So, but anyway, just a fair warning here. Um, to, to not purchase this, I would not. Um, I would get one of their other units, but it's basically very easy to use. It has a, N is off, V is vibrate, no, A is for automatic, and then settings one through seven. And I'll tell you, we have about a 50 pound dog and number two will make her yelp. And the automatic didn't make any difference on the false correction. So there you go, pretty easy to use. The charger hooks up right here, clips on, boom. Uh, like all the other Garmin products, very easy to use, but the false corrections is just uh, gonna be the downfall of this As thing, so. stated earlier, the um, Bark Limiter Deluxe works well, but it works too well, and that's a problem because the dog can't even get away with, you know, yawning or whining or anything, the thing shocks or any vibration at all, which is not good. So we don't have some reason we don't like the collar. We still like the Garmin products. This is collar is just not good for this dog, you know? They can't get away with yawning or anything. That's why we probably will get a different collar that you can program yourself so you can set how sensitive it is, which would be very nice to have. So that's why we are returning the collar. But um, yeah, that's basically what we were trying to get at there. Another thing, the Garmin emblem or the Garmin you know, name brand, when on the dog, should be pointing up. That's what it said in the directions. Otherwise, apparently, it won't work correctly. So when you put it on the dog's neck, you should have it pointing up. But that's kind of, I never heard of that before. But that's what they say. And so, yeah, I, we would not recommend buying this collar um, for your dog. I uh, would recommend probably buying a different, probably an upgraded version that you can program yourself. So... Yeah, thank you guys and uh, hope you like the video and the review.